Recently I've been working on the role of metaphor in advertising and branding and in particular I've been working with colleagues with an advertising and branding agency called Big Cat which is based in Birmingham. This collaboration came about because I was giving a talk at a, a business breakfast at the University of Birmingham where academics and people from the professions give talks on related topics. Um, I was talking about metaphor and Anthony Tatum from Big Cat was talking about his creative clarity concept that he has in his advertising agency where they try and make the campaigns creative but emphasise the fact that they need to be comprehensible to, to, to the viewers and, and the readers. This chimed really well with the metaphor research because one of the things about metaphor is you take a bit of a risk. So for example, if you describe a car as a puma, um, some people might get that straight away and think, oh, it's, it's about energy, it's about speed. Other people might think, that's a bit weird, I don't get that, that, that doesn't work for me at all. So you've got to have a kind of sweet spot where the metaphor works really well, where it's creative but understandable. So following conversations, we set up a, a collaboration and we've now been working with Big Cat for, for a couple of years now where we look at the role of metaphor in our campaigns quite carefully. We start with the conversations with the, with the clients and then we design the campaign with them and look at the way in which people are responding to metaphor, so going all the way through to consumer testing to make sure it's used in a kind of optimal way, both in language and in, in images. The Umbrella Health Trust uh, wanted to raise awareness of STIs uh, and so working with Big Cat um, we wanted to look at how metaphor could be effectively be used um, to communicate information about STIs but in a more indirect and humorous way. The Umbrella Health Trust is based in Birmingham and Solly Hull and so they wanted to relate more to their regional audience. Big Cat then wanted to use famous local landmarks in Birmingham and so we were thinking about ways in which to use metaphor and wordplay and innuendo um, to put that message across in the campaigns. One of the ways we looked at this was looking at metaphor's position in the co sexual conquest narrative. We looked at how it was uh, at the start, such as dig Beth, which is where you fancy someone, in the middle, such as going to touch wood, so looking at actually the sexual act happening, and then right at the end, such as is your ACOX green, so actually seeing the symptoms of the STI. And we actually found with uh, participants in a regional survey that they preferred um, the middle one, uh, the most active part of the sexual conquest narrative. Um, and this ties in with embodied cognition theory uh, that suggests that uh, when we see metaphor and specifically action in metaphor, we simulate that in our minds and are therefore able to relate more to the stimulus. Um, so this is really effective with advertising uh, because it means people can actually empathise with the message that they're trying to communicate. Um, the second thing that we looked at uh, with metaphor in their sexual health campaign was its conceptual effort. So the effort that participants have to go through to process the metaphor and to understand the message. And we found that participants uh, preferred those uh, campaign headlines that were creative but also straightforward in construction so that they could actually understand that a lot better and a lot quicker. And the third way we looked at metaphor in the campaign headlines as was its creative versus conventional use. And we actually found in line with previous research that creative use of metaphor was the most effective. Participants preferred the creative use of metaphor in the campaign headlines, but also it actually provoked them to report that they would actually seek out more information about the Umbrella Health Trust um, and engage more with the campaign on social media. The campaign's been really successful. There's been a, a significant increase in, in web traffic and there's been a 58% increase in the number of people who both order and then subsequently return the tests for testing. This means that the campaign met the objectives that Umbrella were looking for.